Uh, good morning, America. What's going on at you? Uh, today, uh, Jim Bob's going to commentary a little bit on uh, Medicare deficiencies. Now, I got the Medicare, and I like it. It's the communist stuff. I know that's communist to uh, have the Medicare, but an uh, old fella like me uh, wouldn't be able to get along much good without it. I go to the doctor when I want to. I got the Medicare, and I got the Medicare supplement. And I paid all the insurance company every month, and now I go to Dr. Hank, I pay nothing. That's the way I like it. I don't want to pay nothing, and that's the way I'm going to keep it. So anyways, um, but there's some problems with the Medicare um, that I'm going to get straightened out. I tried to get them straightened out when I was up there in Washington, but they said I didn't have enough money to get it done. So anyway, uh, maybe AARP can do something. They got some money. They always are wanting to get some more money out of me. I know that much. Uh, anyhow, to see the the Medicare, um, it's passed back in the 1930s, I think, and uh, they didn't put nothing in there for the dental care, or the eyeglasses, or the hearing aids. They left all that part of it out of there, and uh, I'm beginning to find out that I need some of that stuff, and. Uh, so uh, that's the deficiency that I'm going to talk about. Now, I've had trouble with my eyes all my life. i got droopy eyelids. They call it ptosis of the eyelids. So it's really just mean droopy eyelids. I go back to the bullying in school. I used to get called dopey and sleepy and uh, get beat up on on account of that. And I fought them back. Anyways, uh, and i got the hearing problems real bad now. I just come from a little while ago, come over from the... Uh, uh, ear doctor and got my ears checked out again. I had some hearing aids, you know, it was broken and they've been broken for a while. Ain't nobody here but me, but I can't hear, I can't understand nothing on the TV. And uh, so I um, went over there and got them, get them fixed. And then they said, well, we're going to have a, a seminar uh, next Thursday and you can come on over there and we'll give you $500 off on a said a hearing aids and I said uh, I, I couldn't hear good I said uh, you, did you say that was five hundred dollars for the hearing aids and she said no darling <clears throat> it was uh, five hundred dollars off the hearing aids I said well how much did the hearing aids cost she said oh that's thirty two hundred dollars with you five hundred dollars off I said yeah well I'll um, you got any free meals at that seminar or something I don't know if I'm gonna come over there or not and uh, so uh, I asked her, I said, well, does Medicare pay for anything? She said, no, that Medicare will pay for your hearing test, uh, but they won't pay for no hearing aids. I said, well, go all darn, that ain't very nice. You ought to uh, pay for it all. You know, I've got the Medicare and the Medicare. I've got it all. And there she said, well, I'm sorry, honey, they won't pay for it. She's a big girl. She was, uh, and uh, and uh, kind of snippy. I didn't like her much. If I was going to buy any hearing aids, I probably wouldn't buy them over there. I'd probably buy them somewhere else because I just didn't like her very much. But anyhow, that's what she told me. So uh, that was the one thing. And then uh, ever uh, in this here community where I live, they got a what they call a free clinic. That's for people who ain't got a lot of money. And they'll, and they'll help them out and get them some medical care and stuff. And well, I had a tooth that's bothering me. Now, well, like I told you all before, I'm almost uh, three quarters of a century old. I've got every one of my teeth. I ain't lost none of them. Um, I got one of them chipped one time when I was in the Army. A fella got, got punched me in the head. But I've got them all. And, uh, and I had one of them sort of bother me a little bit. And, uh, well, I looked up on how much the dentist wanted. The last time I went to the dentist, he charged me six hundred and something dollars. This is when I was working, I had money. Six hundred and something dollars to make a mouthpiece to sleep in, like you get up there in the drugstore for about ten dollars. Boy, I got mad at I didn't want to go back to him no more. But uh, <clears throat> so I went over to this free clinic and I, I asked him, I said, Gene, you help old senior citizens, I'm a veteran. Everything like that. Can you help me out with my dental care? I said, no, honey, we don't help them with the dental care. 
so I can't get no help over there. That tooth, I just have to keep on doing what it's doing. But I still got them all. Every one of them, I don't know how many of these, 32s or something, nothing like that. I got them out there, all in there. They're crooked or hell, but I got them. And uh, <coughs> so, now we got that, that part covered. Now the eyes, there's another situation too. When you go to the eye doctor, first of all, the eye doctor's gonna whoop you up for about $80 just to look at your eyeballs. And to tell you what you already know, you just need glasses. And uh, so, um, the Medicare don't cover up none of that. Well, a few years back, um, I didn't have a good Medigap like I do now. Uh, but that's what taught me, this is what taught me a lesson. About a few years ago, I got the cataracts in my eyes. And uh, like I said, I had trouble with my eyes all my life. I had astigmatisms and wigmatisms, all them stuff's in my eyes. And uh, you can fix them with glasses, but I'm, you know, um, you try to work out in the yard to get sweaty in the glasses. I didn't like that part. So, you know, uh, got going to get my cataracts fixed. Well, they going it. That turned out to be a good thing. And I went in there and I got this old doctor. And boy, he's a good fella. He's not an old doctor. He's a young fella, younger than me. And uh, so uh, he said, "Look here, I can fix that ugliness." with these uh, uh, toric lenses or so stick them in your eyes and fix them things. And I said, hey, let's go on, let's do it. And uh, I stuck them in there and by God, I got uh, 20, 20, almost 20-20, a little short on one eye, but I, a 20-20 vision, I still got to use the reading glasses. Ain't that a wonderful thing? Uh, and the Medicare, um, might have paid some on that, they don't pay nothing on the, on the glasses. They don't do no glasses and like that. So uh, that's what I'm complaining about, America. Um, they ought to help us out, us old veterans and uh, non-veterans and and all like that with the eyeglasses and the dental and the hearing. Because, uh, dang it, you know, all that stuff breaks down like the rest of you when you get old, like, kind of like I am. And uh, So there you go. And uh, that's all i got to say about that. Jim's out.